Hey YouTube, Greybeard here. Uh, I have this huge pile of filament boxes I just have not had time to get to uh, in the last few months, uh, mostly because I haven't had time to stream. I'm in the middle of a move and uh, everything's been in chaos and I finally have a little bit of time here on this Saturday. So I just wanted to share with you these, these boxes, what's inside them, uh, let's talk about them and let's, uh, let's get started on this. Let's see, boom. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, uh, I think this is like a dozen boxes here. Uh, we're just gonna start opening them up. I don't know what kind of order they're in. Some of them are from this week. Some of them are from today even. And then some of these others are from January. So uh, it can be quite a bit, but let me move some of this out of the way because uh, we do have a lot here. Uh, let me show you. I'll go ahead and transition to this. Uh, so it's all of these boxes here. Pretty big pile there. And let's get these all moved out of the way. Handle this more one at a time. <laughs> all right. We are down to one box right now. Let's look at this. Okay, so this first box is a filament one box. Let's see, it is postmarked, this is a new one. This is postmarked uh, April 21st. So that's very new. And this should be their uh, subscription box. So uh, I absolutely do uh, appreciate anybody who does join today. I know this stream was last minute. I just have to get this stuff done, uh, get these opened. Let's, let's check them out. So this is the Profi box. It came with a pair of clippers. It's very cool. I love these side clippers or any pair of side clippers. Uh, the handles on these are actually pretty thick, uh, which is nice. They're not as uh, uh, thin as some of the cheap ones I've seen. And the blade looks to line up pretty well. I typically use these uh, Hackos. Um, and these work well too. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, Filament One ASA Pro Select Yellow Green. So that is their yellow green. And it looks like the render on the screen is somewhat accurate there. This is Filament One PLA Pro Select uh, Glint Gold. So it looks like a very uh, traditional type of gold color that we're we're seeing these days. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll pull this one out since it is a uh, uh, glittery. Hey, this is Keith. How are you doing? So there we go. Um, if it'll focus, focus, focus. Uh, but it looks very good. This next one is uh, PLA Pro Select Glint Purple. Let's pull that one out, see if I can get that to show up on camera. Uh, my good camera is uh, also packed away in the middle of this move. So I am using the Logitech, uh, I forget what it is, it's like a 922 or something. So, and the final thing I got in this box is the Filament One ASA Pro Select uh, Sky Blue. So they've been sending some ASA uh, this, this month. And that blue, uh, very solid blue. The roll uh, feels like it's a lot of filament, so that's good. Uh, I should be able to print uh, more than a uh, Marvin out of it. I might take some of it and print some uh, some things for um, the COVID-19 fight. Uh, I've been doing a lot of different things uh, in the past few weeks for COVID-19, uh, mostly printing face shields and ear savers. Today I had a request, one of my wife's friends uh, uh, sews and she sews ear savers, but she's run out of buttons. So I 3D printed buttons for her. So they're very cool. And just waiting on her to pick them up. Um, 3D printed buttons, uh, you know, I, I just, I never thought about it, but it works out to be pretty good. Okay, here's another box from uh, Filament One. It's a bigger box. I don't know why it's a bigger box. Uh, hey, RCCNC, welcome back. Thank you for joining again. 
Uh, this one is uh, shipped from March. So this is a March box. Um, I noticed I have like three filament one boxes from the subscription in, in this pile. And each one is a different size and I don't get it. So I hope I didn't win anything because if I won something and I let this thing sit here for a month and I didn't give them any kind of shout out, that sucks. <laughs> okay, so um, we get another uh, card. So every one of them comes with this. A lot of packing paper. Oh, there is some candy in here. There's a few things in here. Okay, cool. Uh, Pedro, uh, Pedro Bears. I've never heard of the Pedro Bear, Bears. So, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty heavy weight. I don't know what it is though. Let's open it up. Um, oh, it's a universal drill bit. If this is what I think it is, I am absolutely loving this because I need a solution like this. So let's see. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, okay. So I don't know if it connects together or I've printed something and I needed to clear a hole with it. In fact, I think I have a button I could use a hole cleared. Let me see. I thought I had one. Yeah. All right. Maybe a little bit. So that one has a small hole in it. Cool. Okay, so it works. All right, so universal drill bit uh, or uh, deadly weapon, depending on which uh, aspect you want to look at. Uh, the other accessory that came this month, this is why this is so big. They sent a mug. So everybody who has a Profi Box subscription, or is it Profi, uh, got a mug, I guess. A whole reamer. Yep, they sent me the whole reamer. All right, and here's the filament, and we have a sticker at the bottom of this uh, box here. So we have a glint sticker, and I guess I can do it that way too. So that's pretty cool. It's all shiny. All right, <clears throat> I like the candy. I like the mug a lot, um, and the whole reamer I actually could use because I don't have that. Ooh, I love this color. Uh, <laughs> it might just look white on screen, but. Uh, this is a light gray, uh, but it's a very light gray, so it's a very subtle uh, gray to it. Uh, these kind of colors are the ones you want to do. You want to know more about this universal drill bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's just, it's basically a big cone. <laughs> uh, you're always going to end up with a, a hole in a cone shape or something. So, uh, but this white or gray is very cool. I like these. Uh, there's other companies out there who have some really light grays that have come out. Um, but it gives it gives certain prints like that extra touch where, you know, you don't want just white. You want something just kind of off. <clears throat> All right. This is green silk. So that's pretty cool. And the color isn't quite coming through well on screen. I'm looking at it now. Um, it is more green in person, a little bit more green. And on screen, it's coming across as a little bit more blue than normal. So uh, use your mind's eye there. All right, moving on. Traffic Red. Uh, so PLA Pro Traffic Red. Um, looks like a standard red. PLA. Uh, the red is actually uh, very good though. It's it's not pale like some of the others, so that's very good. I'm not going to open up a red PLA. And here we go. Looks like they used some white out on it. I don't know why or something. But uh, PETG Black. And I'm not going to open that one up either. Uh, but Traffic Black. Okay. So, yep, yeah, that's the whole reamer. If you guys want to see that universal drill bit one more time. So I'll try to get it to focus, focus, focus. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, that's what I have out of this camera. But it looks like it has uh, two flutes and uh, very pointy bit.
Cool. I'll put that in the mug. Uh, normally with this, they do send you um, discount codes. Uh, so it looks like the codes we've gotten in the last two months, one is 20% off of uh, E3D brass nozzles, which is good if you need brass nozzles. And the code uh, for the other month was $200 off the E3D tool changer. Uh, so getting discount codes can help if you're in the market for um, whatever it might be. Uh, looks like the next one on a pile is a MakerBox. So MakerBox is another filament subscription. Uh, they have many different uh, subscription levels, which is good. Uh, can meet any budget or any desire you want. Uh, one level is usually just PLA or something simple. Let's see what date this is. This is from, from February. Uh, one of these maker boxes should have an extra nozzle for me because I bought it. So let's hope this one does. <laughs> All right. I got an ignore me card. I have a glitter bomb robo sticker. Very cool. I don't know who Glitter Bomb Robo is. I got a Maker Box Me sticker. Um, they're doing some dice giveaway. They are talking about their new crate for cryptid. It's something with UFOs or something. Um, I'm not much of a UFO type of guy. A little revenge in the box. That's always nice. All right. Philatuff Yellow. This is super bright yellow. Philatuff is engineering compound filament. Uh, looks like it prints at more or less uh, PLA temps. Um, it says it withstands 130 degrees uh, working temp, similar to polycarbonate. High impact resistance does not contain hazardous chemicals like styrene. Um, so it feels kind of flexible here. Um, it, it is not brittle at all. Uh, so it probably has a pretty good uh, durability there. Um, but yeah, it has like a flexible feel to it. Uh, so we have 3D Fuel Pro PLA Iron Red. Uh, I think the Pro PLA from 3D Fuel is uh, 3D870 from um, uh, NatureWorks. It's their 3D870 PLA, uh, which is supposed to be their, their highest end PLA that they make. Then we have PETG Spearmint Green. It's a nice color. It looks like it's translucent. Let's open this one up. The other two colors uh, really came across exactly how they were. So this is kind of like a semi-translucent. Uh, again, the green is a lot better. Uh, on screen, it's coming across a little bit blue. Um, I'm trying to remember what that reminds me of. It reminds me of like a... Uh, like a green hard candy or something. Vario Shore TPU. Um, Vario Shore is supposed to be able to have different hardnesses depending on how you print it. So that'll be cool to play with. Uh, right now it, it feels quite flexible. This is by Colorfab and this is one of their newer materials. So I, uh, you know, I meant to buy some so this saves me from buying it and then we have uh, let's see then we have Philocube uh, PLA this is the easy samples these are all PLA uh, the colors look really good a purple a red uh, that might be a silver it might be a gray it looks a little bit silvery but and then that's uh, that's in that box Good stuff. I'll keep the nerds out. <clears throat> I'll give a lot of the uh, candy to my kid. All right. Uh, although that did not have a nozzle in it. Uh, maybe this one has the nozzle in it. I bought the nozzle. I paid them extra money. <laughs> uh, well, maybe, let me look. That's, what, di what date is this one? This is from March. Uh, ah, this one's from January. This probably has a nozzle. We'll get it here first. Um, the only reason I want this nozzle is because it was expensive. It is the uh, Nozzle X in 8.6 millimeters. Ah, look at that. I bet you that's it. Let's see it. 
Nozzle X, I really like. I have a Nozzle X in 0.4 on one of my printers. And uh, this thing just prints so well. It prints like the brass nozzle. Uh, but it, of course, withstands... Focus, focus, focus. Um, it, of course, withstands the abrasive materials. Uh, I've used the hardened steel nozzles, and they don't quite perform the same as the brass. Uh, they string a little bit more, uh, and you sometimes have to print at a higher temp. So Nozzle X has been good to me. Um, and they had that as a promotion for people who are subscribers to MakerBox to be able to get that a little bit cheaper. Some sweet tarts, sweet tart candies. An Ignore Me card. Uh, I think this normally has a discount code on it. Upgrade to Himera. So they have a, a discount code for a Himera. Um, of course, it's expired because by the time I open these boxes, it's, it's expired. An E3D sticker. A magnet. A 2020 calendar magnet. I don't see. They did not mark off COVID on here. This sucks. All right. Uh, Pips Mountain. Cool. Hey, Dan, how are you doing? This is Green Tech Black. So Green Tech Black, uh, let's see what kind of material this is. Um, it's a bio performance range, uh, has high temp and high uh, strength, and it has a matte feel to it. So Green Tech Black. It's probably some sort of uh, recycled filament. I don't think they describe that on there though. Uh, PETG. Um, this is called Pink with Sparkles. Now, I don't see sparkles, and it comes across a little bit more orange uh, in person, but uh, that is Pink with Sparkles. Um, what's showing up on screen is probably closer to what it looks like. It's closer to that than pink. So, And I don't really see much sparkles, maybe a little bit. But uh, that is from Greengate. Now I have some Greengate PLA or uh, PETG, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I have their purple, which looks really cool. Uh, Firefly PLA from Hello 3D. Now this is some cool stuff. I bought I bought a roll of this. Uh, so it's glow in the dark, and um, it has like a glittery effect to it. So you do need a hard nozzle for this, which is good because I got my. Um, uh, nozzle X from E3D, but uh, this stuff is really cool. It's like a glittery uh, glow in the dark. Iron filled metal composite PLA from Protopasta. So that's iron filled. Um, of course, it's heavier than normal, uh, normal PLA. Uh, this is also abrasive. You're going to want a Nozzle X for that. You know, maybe they plan the Nozzle X sale with this box. All right, and this next one is Jesse PLA. Uh, Jesse PLA is the PLA from uh, uh, Print It Solid. Uh, these are some awesome colors, and look at that. Another super light gray, so that is not white. That is a super light gray. Uh, I think they call it something like architecture gray, I forget. And then a nice uh, orange, that's a very vibrant orange. Let's see. Let's see how it compares to a Prusa orange. That's pretty good. So perhaps maybe just slightly darker, but if this is what you have, you could you could probably print some parts for your Prusa with this. Um, if you don't have the Prusa orange, but uh, that's a very vibrant orange. And then the red and blue are both very solid colors. Uh, very, very decently colored there. No skimping. My spool is coming undone. Now, I buy a lot of filament, guys, so I actually have a few of these already. Uh, so, that's my problem with Maker Boxes now, or all these subscription boxes, is I have, I have almost reached a point where I have uh, whatever they're sending. Oh. All right, let's get back to this one. This one is from March. This is another maker box, label side up. Let's see what's in this one. And I'm also wearing my shirt that was made uh, by Mark. Um, he made it on his uh, Cricut or one of those vinyl cutters, which is very cool. 
Ignore me card. This has the discount codes, of course. A Bassif sticker. So I have a feeling we're going to get some Bassif uh, filaments, a US mono filament sticker. So we're probably getting some of that. All right, the first one we got is Health Fill. Uh, Fortis LL White Health Fill Filament. Um, it says to use PET packing tape. So your clear packing tape is what you want to use when you're printing with this. I've used some other filament that absolutely will not stick to anything but that PET packing tape. So you guys lay some on your bed. Um, this is Fortis Orthopedics 3D Filament. I can't pronounce that word, but uh, yeah, it allows some elasticity, elastic memory, innervation resistance, and it does say innervation. I, I have to look that up, I guess, uh, with high wear and laceration threshold. Another key strength is its exceptional lightweight properties, and it does feel very light. So that is this health fill. <laughs> Yeah, the, the sub boxes are great. Uh, you know, I got into them because I, I do that website and uh, I just wanted lots of colors and it seemed like a great way to go. Um, plus, I like getting prizes every month. Uh, this is Matt PLA from Fulament. I've not heard of Fulament, so this is going to be the first time I've used Fulament, but uh, it does look very matte. Push Plastic Carbon Fiber P -E PCPBT. And I've used this stuff before, um, very good. Uh, again, you'll want a hard nozzle if you're using that. TPU 70D, it feels pretty stiff for TPU. Ultra tough impact resistant filament, high durometer, stiffer than flex TPU. So you'd, you'd probably be able to print this on uh, most systems, even those with Bowdens. Um, and it requires no special considerations for printing. Some candy. Yum, yum, yum. All right. And this month we have filaments from Push Plastics. Now I had, uh, back in the day, I had everything Push Plastic made. But these look like all new colors. So, uh, it's like a shiny blue. Um, has, it's, it's actually darker than what appears on screen there. Um, it has like an automotive type of blue look to it. Um, this is just a nice uh, dark tan. I'm trying to think of the color for it. Um, but that's a very nice color too. Maybe it has some sort of fill in it, but usually not. Uh, shiny gold. That might not be a new color. And then this dark red. Um, it's like a, almost like a red, almost deep purple, but very cool, cool colors. And those are from Push Plastics. Uh, Push Plastics are in the U.S. too. So if you're in the U.S. and you're looking for a filament supplier because everybody is out, you can go check out uh, Push Plastics. All right. How's the weather out there, guys? My weather outside is great. I'm headed outside after this. So let me move. This pile of candy is getting bigger and bigger. Loud noise? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> All right. This is a Profi box. Oh, I didn't see what month this is. This is from January. The January Profi box. So it comes with a card. Um, don't worry if you steal the discount code because it's expired. Oh, cool. Some calipers. Very helpful tools. Uh, these are all plastic, it feels like. So I have a metal set, uh, which the electronics is, seems exactly the same on my metal set. Um, but uh, this plastic set, you know, I might give to my son so he can use it if he's doing any modeling. Um, but it's cute. Oof, I love these things. Stroop waffle. Uh, Profi Box sends Stroop waffles a lot. I really like them. I hope they keep doing them. Get your Glinton sticker. Uh, let's see. Filament One Pro Select Natural PLA. So it's just an uncolored PLA. 
Ooh, traffic black TPU, so it's very flexible. It is just black though. Pro Select Glint Orange, and this is like a, uh, a very dark orange, um, almost like a stone color. Let's pull this one out because it has some uh, has some glint in it, I guess is what they call it, uh, which is just very fine glitter. I don't know if that'll show through. Definitely not in focus. So, yeah, I don't think the shine will come through, but there are there is some glitter in there. Um, and filament one white aluminum is what they call it. I'll have to see how this stuff prints because uh, there's all kinds of silvers out there these days. So let's see if I can get that on camera. So hopefully it prints really nice, uh, but this white aluminum uh, looks similar to many of the silvers that are out there. Oh, this is also a PETG, so that is also a little bit unique because uh, PETG selections aren't so great. All right, moving on, another box. We're almost halfway through. Protopasta. Good stuff. If you saw my address, you have 15 days to come find me because I'm moving. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. We have some candy. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, a cool sticker. All right. And this was shipped in February. So, uh, Protopasta sticker number one. That's a really cool sticker. Hey, Spring. And that says in the corner, Protopasta in real light gray. But that's a cool sticker. Some Sour Punch candies. All good. Put that in the candy pile. A warning label. We'll get rid of that. All right. Forget Me Not Translucent Blue. And so it is a light, uh, light translucent blue color. Very cool. Uh, Primrose translucent purple. I actually like that purple a lot. I uh, wish I could get more of that. Um, but that purple reminds me, and it's coming across a little bit blue on screen, but it reminds me of the purple on the original classic, like Game Boy Clear Edition. Um, Turkish Poppy Translucent Orange. So they did a lot of translucents this month. So, very cool. Let's move that aside. Oh, this was a freebie. Um, this company decided that they were gonna send everybody a free sample. And let's see what the sample is. It's a bed adhesive. adhesive. Um, and it's from Vision Miner. Let's see what's in this sample. So we have, all right. So you get this, uh, you get this card with instructions on what, how to use it. Uh, and this is supposed to help your print stick to the bed better. And then it has the warnings for the chemicals. Uh, you get a, actually a decent size applicator, um, especially for a free sample box and uh, nano polymer adhesive. So I plan to try to use this stuff. I, I'm glad they gave out a free sample because I don't want to go in and buy a bunch of uh, adhesive if it's not going to work out well for me. But uh, they must feel very confident about this stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely give that a try and see how it works for me, especially with some of these more advanced filaments that aren't uh, sticking. And that will work. So that was free, and they gave that out to anybody who, I guess, signed up or asked for it. Very nice of them. Uh, okay, this is just a regular order I did this week. I've been trying to find all kinds of filaments um, to print face shields and masks with, and uh, 
Let's see. This one is from Fusion Filaments. Oh, you know what? I think I was on uh, Chris's stream and he brought this, this color up or something. And I'm like, okay, I, I gotta check this out. All right, so this is a translucent purple color again. And yep. No sticker, uh, no sticker or any candy, but they send you the filament. Uh, it comes in this cool 3D printed um, spool holder. I believe that's 3D, yeah, it looks 3D printed. So very cool spool holder that's actually 3D printed. Um, let me open this up. Look at that. And that is a nice, it, it looks blue on the screen, but it is purple here. It is real purple. Uh, that is really cool. It is translucent purple, uh, darker than the one we just looked at. Um, this full holder actually is what impresses me the most. I absolutely love this. It's a lot of filament to print these things. So, um, hopefully, yeah, it looks reusable. This looks like one of the uh, uh, master spool styles. So there is a tool that you can use that will unlock the hub. Uh, I'll have to find it and print it. Uh, but this is absolutely outstanding. And you know what else I like about this full holder? Is it shows me another color they have that I really like. This is like a pink uh, that just looks outstanding and it feels outstanding. I mean, that's cool. Um, awesome stuff. I can't wait to print with this. This is a HTPLA Plus uh, 3D 870. So this is the highest end filament or highest end PLA uh, that um, NatureWorks uh, offers. NatureWorks supplies like the raw PLA material and they have like uh, three popular lines that are used for 3D printing and that's the highest end line. So, very cool stuff. Thank you, Chris, for the recommendation. All right. Uh, this is a Filament One uh, Profi box from February. Uh, this one was a little bit weird. It, it looked like it was retaped and cut open. So, I hope everything's okay with it. The label on the front, let me see if I can show the label on the front. The label on the front is uh, not, not cut at all, but uh, the box itself looks like it was reopened. Yep. So it means they had to cut it in the uh, in the warehouse. Maybe they forgot to put something in all the boxes, like a sticker or something came in late. All right, let's see what we have. Um, two different sheets. That's a little bit unusual. So. It looks like this is talking about uh, some maker groups. Uh, I guess maybe this is about the COVID fight. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but they put some maker uh, stuff on that. And then this is the uh, normal sheet that it would come with that talks about the filaments that are in the box. Uh, the accessory for this month is a razor, a little a little razor knife, another Stroop waffle. Um, I'm giving the candy to my son, but I'm keeping the Stroop waffles. All right, and let's see. This is metallic gold. Let's take a look. This is PLA. So it's a it's a pale uh, gold compared to the other gold we saw from them earlier. I believe it was theirs. Um, this is a paler gold. Uh, but it does have a nice shine to it. Um, I don't see glitter in it, but it is uh, it's just different. It's a lighter gold than normal. Um, clear PETG. No need to open it. PLA Pro Select Matte Black. So, oops, there we go. Focus. All right. So, matte black. Uh, let me see. Yep, that definitely looks black, uh, matte. It has very little shine to it. So, very cool. And Ultramarine Blue uh, ASA. So that is a very dark blue. 
Um, actually comes across pretty well on camera, so that's pretty much what it is. All right, another box. All right, this was just an order. It's not a subscription. All right. I forget what I ordered. Hi, Maddie. Thank you for joining. Okay. Oh, yes. The new Jesse PLA color. Let me pull all this out so I can move this box out of the way. All right. Uh, printed solid sticker came with it. Some Airheads. Uh, white mystery color flavor. Um, Olympic Gold PLA, PHA from Color Fab. I don't know what Olympic Gold looks like. Uh, I kind of just bought it on a whim. So somebody might be getting some uh, face shields printed out of Olympic Gold. So there it is. It's like a it's like a straw yellow with some shine to it. So let's move that aside. This was a cool one. I really want it. Uh, this is the new Jesse PLA uh, Deep Purple. So that is the Deep Purple. It seems like it's coming across a little bit black on screen, but it really is a purple. Let me see, maybe a little light will help. When you're dealing with dark colors, yeah, it shows some of the purples better. Seems to overblow it a little bit, but there you go. That's the new Jesse PLA Deep Purple. Um, and the last thing I got uh, was ribbon cable. And this is for my rail core. So the Mark II S does use the E3D V6, yes. Uh, this is the ribbon cable that, that I'm gonna use for the rail core for the screen uh, because the one it comes with, or the one the screen comes with is too short uh, to put the screen in any decent location. Let me move these somewhere. All right, uh, two boxes left. We're almost done. Unless you guys want me to open other filament, I have tons. <clears throat> All right, this was from April. This is the newest box. Uh, this came out this week. So, a Maker Box Me sticker. I like it. I like the colors. The Ignore Me tag. Um, so let's see what kind of discount I get. Uh, okay, it doesn't really tell you. It just says go to this website for discounts. Uh, Pips Mountain advertisement. Airheads. Yum. Uh, another Bassif sticker. It's smaller than the one before. Uh, okay. Filament Matrix. This is talking about nylon Kevlar filament. So hopefully... Uh, hey Thunder, how are you doing? So hopefully uh, this uh, nylon Kevlar will be really cool. Uh, we'll see. That's cool. Ooh. Prusament. Polychromatic PLA Mystic Green. I do like this. I have a roll of this, of course. Uh, very cool stuff. Um, it can look green to brown, depending on which way you hold it. Uh, similar to some of the ink you might find on your, uh, your money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it can go from green to, like, a brown, a reddish brown, um, depending on which way the light hits it. Very cool stuff. Uh, if you have not checked out that, that Bruce Mint, uh, you know, it's it's just too cool to not have. All right. EcoTuff PETG 2.0 from Filament CA. Um, so it says it's it prints like PLA, or at least that's what it alludes to. So it's black PETG that's going to print like PLA. Laser marking PLA. Oh, I'm very excited for this because I have 
the uh, laser uh, from Maniacal Labs, I believe that's what it's from, but I have that laser that they came out with, the Engravenator. So once I print this, I should be able to inscribe this with the laser. That will be cool to try. I'm going to do that on the stream. Nylon Kevlar. Uh, okay, so this is an interesting material. Uh, looks like it prints at 240 to 260. That's pretty good, 70 degrees Celsius. So uh, you might be able to get this through an Ender. You definitely can get this through a Prusa um, or through anything with like an E3D. Um, yeah, so you get the nylon, the toughness, durability, tensile strength uh, with improved wear resistance. Hardened nozzle is advised and you need to dry it. So you need to get a filament dryer. So I won't be able to print this soon because my filament dryer is packed away for moving purposes. Uh, but that's very cool. I hope it has real Kevlar in it. I hope it does. That seems to be what they're advertising, right? And then finally, uh, the Easy Box is by Esun. So this is Esun White, Yellow, mm -hmm. Brown, and Purple. And I actually like the Brown and Purple a lot. Um, I buy it by the roll. I think I buy their their White too. No, I, I think I buy Hatchbox White, but I buy their Brown and Purple because it's, they're both very good Browns and Purples. Um, so I buy that by the roll all the time uh, for my regular printing. So that is that box. One more box, guys. This is a, it's a big one. Whoa. Ah. This, so, um, this box is kind of like my fault. Uh, December 23rd, my uh, alien UFO box expired, and it sent me, like, I think there wasn't money in my account that day, so it sent me an email on December 23rd. Said, "Hey, uh, you couldn't, you couldn't, we couldn't charge your card. Uh, go in and fix your account." And so, it's December 23rd. I have a million things going on, and I forget all about it. And I don't even realize till about March because I've not opened any of these boxes. I, I didn't even realize I wasn't getting the UFO box. So I wrote Josh. I said, "Hey, charge me for some box for some of those boxes and get me some filaments over." Um, and I also bought from him, um, he had a sale on some of the filaments that he, would, that he carried. Uh, I think it's filamentum. So I bought some filamentum on sale from him too. And uh, I don't know how many samples he was able to get from me because I did find out many, many months after. So hopefully there's a few in here. Um, hopefully there's a few things going on. Let's see, we do have a sticker. So this is kind of like a combination alien box, maybe, maybe, and um, filamentum. So uh, so hopefully I get the new alien box, although I got to contact Josh because I did not see a shipping notification. All right, uh, pearl night blue um, extra fill. Purple Red Extra Fill and Vertigo Starlight Extra Fill. Let's check these out. All of those colors sound awesome. Oh, and I got a ring pop, just in case you didn't see it. Um, all right, so Josh wrote me a note that he's gonna try to get the other samples to me still. Uh, so for anything he did not include in this box, uh, which we will open, uh, I guess he's gonna try to acquire for me which is very nice of him because it is my fault. I should have responded to my email uh, December 23rd. Here's a note for you guys. If you want something from me, don't email me on December 23rd. All right, so let's look at this stuff. I'm kind of... So it's packed very tight, uh, which is nice, and it looks like it's a resealable, resealable bag, which is also very nice. So there you go. That is a beautiful color. Um, it's a little bit blue, but it's a little bit more purple on here. This was the, uh, it should be labeled. It's not labeled. 
so they don't label their role. <laughs> That's all it says on the roll, PLA. Uh, uh, was this a Vertigo Starlight? No, that's a vertical starlight. Uh, okay, uh, this was the night one or something. Uh, pearl night blue. So it does have it does have a more purple appearance in person. All right. I wonder why they don't label their roll. You'd want people to be able to reorder, right? All right. Uh, making a huge mess in my basement here. This is the purple red. So this of course will be an interesting color. It's more like a more like a brick red. Actually, on screen, it's coming across pretty close to what I see. Uh, it's like a, a bright, a brighter brick red type of color. So very interesting. I don't know where the purple is, uh, but it's in there. Hey, Bash, how are you doing? We are almost done this. If you guys want, let me know in the comments. I do have a box of uh, Overture, uh, which Overture, I think, is what Amazon Basics used to be. Uh, so if you want to see what that box looks like, I can open one of those. Um, it's blue. It's PLA. So uh, this is Vertigo Starlight. I think I actually have a roll of this somewhere. I probably already have, ooh, and a sticker. So we have a sticker in there. All right. So let's look at the Vertigo Starlight. Yeah, I think I have this stuff. So this might just be a backup roll for me. So it's very cool. It's, it's a dark blue with a blue glitter in it, it looks like. Um, and I know that glitter does not come through on screen. Maybe with camera light. Oh. You know, I was trying to unlock my phone and somebody was calling me and I answered it. So whoever was calling me, sorry. Yeah, that glitter comes through. There you go. That's Vertigo Starlight from Filamentum. Very cool stuff. Uh, I wonder if Josh still has some in stock because if he does, it's probably still on sale. Uh, again, they still don't label their filament uh, other than the material type. I think that's very um, short-sighted. Label your filament so people know what to reorder. All right. Uh, so this is going to be kind of like, okay, it looks like a sample from one month of uh, the Alien 3D box. Um, industrial 3D white. PLA. So it has a yellowish hue to it. It's not like a pure white. Um, yeah, it just looks like a white PLA that, that is kind of like on the, the warm side is what they call it. Protopasta carbon fiber PLA. So their carbon fiber is of course very nice. It's PLA so it should print easy. You just need to have a hardened nozzle. 3D Solutec denim blue PLA. That is a very weird denim blue. I think that's the wrong label because here is 3D Solutech denim blue and that looks more accurate. Um, so that's the, that's the denim blue and this is probably a, a purple or a plum or something like that. So, uh, so that's that. Uh, I'll open one of these overture boxes uh, just because it's here and I'm on stream. Uh, so this is, uh, this looks like what Amazon used to sell as Amazon Basics. Amazon has since switched to a new brand uh, or a new supplier, but I needed some filament and finding filament regularly is getting hard. Um, boom, boom, boom. 
So it came with a ruler. Uh, one side looks like inches, the other side looks metric. Uh, it's very interesting ruler, but uh, you know what? It it's not paper, so it's not going to get damaged easy. Sign up on overture.com to get lifetime guarantee and technical support. Very interesting. Then they give you a bed sticker. I guess a bed sticker comes with the roll. Uh, very cool. It it is a 20 by 20, so it fits uh, most of the older style printers. Although I could probably stick that and cut it a little bit and stick it on a uh, Prusa Mini. You use these bed stickers all the time. And then here is the Overture PLA. Um, that blue is very cool looking. Uh, it's, what would I call it? It's not like a baby blue, it's, it's much brighter than that. I have butchered the top of this badly. <clears throat> so, there we go. So there is the Overture Blue PLA. Um, it has a weird kind of feel to it. Um, kind of kind of like a matte feel to it. The bed stickers do not work for you. So this is a really weird, and it has a weird uh, kind of, I don't know, it's just different. Here's like a baby blue in comparison. So, and then here is uh, what I normally use for blue, uh, for comparison to. So this is this is just a, a kind of like this in between color that actually looks really good. Um, <laughs> go overture. <laughs> I'll find out how the consistency is. Of course, it's like the plus minus point zero zero five, uh, which is kind of you know mediocre for consistency these days. Um, but if they stick with that and they don't go outside of that range, then it's good. Okay, I think that's everything I have. Uh, here is the Amazon's latest filament uh, style, the latest supplier. Uh, I noticed that Amazon's latest, it's not in a sealed bag. This bag or this, this thing has holes in it, uh, so it's not airtight. It doesn't have the vacuum that everybody else has. Uh, they call this pink. It's more like a peach, peachy pink. So I was a little bit disappointed in the color too. But uh, the, the spool itself is very lightweight and um, the filament looks okay. Like I said, it's peachy pink, it's not real pink. And uh, the only other thing is, I think this is made by a company called Prima 3D or Prima Color or something like that over in Europe. Because if you look at their stuff, it's the exact same rule. Um, but that's just a guess. Uh, so far, I haven't printed with it. I'll let you all know how that goes, too. So that's it today. Uh, let me switch over to one of these here. Doom, doom. Nope, that's not it. Last time I transitioned to the wrong scene. So uh, that's it today. Uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed opening these. I wish I got to it sooner. Uh, my life has been in chaos as I've moved houses, or I am moving houses. Uh, I kind of opened these because I'm going to consolidate all of it into one box instead of having a stack of 20 different boxes here. So that's part of my motivation here. Uh, the other part was I was saving it for you guys. I didn't want to open it off of stream because uh, I want you to see what's in these boxes as well. Uh, so I hope you saw some color in there that you really liked the filament. Uh, or if you saw a subscription box you really like. I'm not gonna try to sell you a subscription box. I'm not gonna give you my referral codes. If you like any of the boxes, they're out there. Um, I, I enjoy them. Uh, they're, they all are unique in their own way. So uh, everybody, please be safe during this COVID crisis. Uh, if you have a printer and you're able to help, uh, you know there are uh, ear savers that are very popular right now uh, and they're very easy to print. Uh, but if not, uh, everybody just stay safe and take care of yourselves and take care of your families. Uh, have a nice day, and uh, I'll see you on another stream soon enough. Thank you all.